one thing which um, you mentioned there was about your government's decisions. And uh, uh, one of the things that's a matter of interest uh, to this committee is uh, what was brought to Cabinet? Um, was the preferred bidder announcement taken to Cabinet? Was the unconditional financial guarantee of £106 million to CMAL, was that taken to Cabinet? The £45 million bailout of FML, was that taken to Cabinet? The financial collapse of FML, was that taken to Cabinet? The nationalisation decision, was that taken to Cabinet? So, again, uh, the, the Cabinet, uh, or the submissions to Ministers uh, are... Uh, I understand and have seen uh, many of the submissions to ministers in the published documents. I'm, I'm happy to provide to the committee. Um, again, um, forgive me if I sound as if I'm explaining some basic things here. There is a, a, a provision on cabinet agendas, which um, I think was uh, there in previous administrations as well, which is called SCANS, which is uh, ministers can report things to cabinet without full papers requiring decisions. Issues around these will have been reported usually after uh, the event to Cabinet as, as decisions taken. Procurement decisions will not, you know, if you take the Queen's Ferry Crossing, for example, uh, you know, we decide the policy, we decide the budget, but the actual award of a contract is not something that Cabinet would decide. So there will not have been full papers and Cabinet decisions on all of these matters. Uh, these which which ones did by. go to Cabinet, I think is my question. Um, I, it, let me come back to you on that in, in terms of exactly the, the cabinet uh, decisions. But I don't, I don't, in terms of preferred, uh, th these issues would have been reported to cabinet by ministers as we are doing these things, these things. So, on rather than full cabinet papers, where cabinet took the decision. So there wasn't a paper submitted to cabinet on the decision to take public ownership of uh, the Ferguson Marine Shipyard. The submissions on that will have been. Uh, circulated and uh, provided to the relevant ministers um, and the the minister at the time uh, would have updated cabinet uh, periodically um, I think on the, uh, the the progress of that but what is the point of the cabinet if it doesn't take those kind of decisions this is where the cabinet takes dis decisions uh, on policy cabinet will take decisions obviously on budgets and the, the budget cover for certain things, ministers are tasked to get on with the jobs within their portfolios and they will report back to cabinet, they'll update cabinet, colleagues can ask questions. That does not always take the form of papers that then is asking cabinet to substitute for the minister in terms of the decision. Uh, but you will get back to us with a reflection on uh, the in items are listed and which of those were uh, considered at a cabinet level and in what form they took. Can, can I bring